Hi, this is Anne from DuckTapeAndDenim.com and today we are going to be making this simple nativity ornament with vintage clothespins. I don't know if I've told y'all before, but I collect nativity ornaments. So, Well, I collect nativity scenes of all kinds, so I'm always on the lookout for some easy crafts or whenever we go anywhere, that's what I pick up as my souvenir. So, Alright, so here's what you need. For this project, you're going to need old wooden clothespins. You're gonna need some jute or some kind of string, scissors to cut it, and glue. I have two different glues out here. I have E6000, which is what I would use if I was selling these because this stuff is permanent. And I have a hot glue gun, which I'm gonna to use today because it's quicker. And when I'm showing somebody how to do something, this will work really fast and it won't fall apart. If I use this, it's gonna take longer to dry but once it dries, it's gonna be permanent. So you can decide which one you wanna do. If it's for your own tree, this is probably, hot glue is probably gonna be fine, or wood glue would probably work, or any kind of craft tacky glue or anything like that would probably work too. So what Glenn did for me, he went through, I gave him a handful, and he cut the little leg parts off. So these are our little baby Jesus figures. You can paint these if you wanted or you know just do anything you want. I'm, I'm just going to keep them really simple and rustic today. I'm going to try to find two that kind of match. Don't don't you know I mean you can do whatever you want but I'll try to get a little close together and then I'm going to make one like a head above the other one. So this is Joseph and this is Mary. And then I hope my hot glue gun is hot enough. Take a string of glue. Whoops. Go down the side like that. Stick them together. Make Mary like a head shorter. Can y'all see that? And I'm going to hold them for just a second. Alright, so now that should be dry. Then we're going to take the little baby, and if you need to sand, you know, I probably should have sanded that, but I don't have my sanding block out here with me. But if you want to sand it, you can. If not, I'm going to make it go a little diagonally, like if you were holding a baby, you know, you're going to hold his head up a little higher. I'm going to put glue on his back. And then hold them there till it dries. All right, that is pretty much it. Now we're just gonna put a hanger on it. If you wanted to paint them, you can. Um, I saw some online that had, like Baby Jesus had a little bow like this. When I picture Baby Jesus, I don't really picture him with a bow, but if you wanted to put a bow, you could do that. Um, you know, a lot of the nativities have halos around Mary or baby Jesus. You could do that like I did on the angel, like a halo like this if you wanted to. Like I said, I'm just staying really simple and rustic with this. So now turn it over. And this is my little trick for putting the string on without burning my fingers with the hot glue. I'm going to make it extra long, I'm going to squirt the glue on, and then I'm going to put it down in the middle here, and I'm going to hold on to both ends and press it down. Hopefully that works, because y'all know I burn myself a lot with my glue gun. Oops, and I'm almost out. Let's see if I have enough there. I should have enough to tack it anyway, and then I'll stick another in there real quick. And see, I did it without burning my fingers because I just held on to both ends. Now I can come back and trim those up. I'm going to wait till that dries before I touch it. <laughs> Cut off the little ends here. All right. That's how to make the nativity ornament out of vintage wooden clothespins. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making comments and sharing and liking because when you do that, it